Hello friends. Today we will learn how to integrate the SSL certificate in our server which is running on cPanel. It's a Linux server. So we will learn how to integrate the SSL. We have purchased the SSL from SSLS.com. Uh, you can uh, go to any SSL selling website or any SSL seller and buy the same from their website. There is no issue regarding the purchase of SSL from any particular website because the vendors are almost same. Let me show you the vendors who generally provide the SSL certificate. These are some tentative providers of SSL certificate and we would be including or installing positive SSL certificate. You, you can buy any other SSL certificate and install that. Now while installing SSL certificate I strongly recommend you to keep the SSLS uh, certificate uh, SSLS uh, support chat open so if you have any query uh, they can help you and open all these uh, support URLs or how to URLs uh, which will tell you how to integrate the SSL certificate in your server. Now let's open the server. This is a cPanel based server so we will log into the server and uh, go to the cPanel. Current cPanel version designs are a little bit different. You can uh, go to the newer versions also and you will get all the similar features just with a little bit different design or different placement so don't worry about the design change of the C panel as such the features are all same here and there We have opened all these support URLs. Let's make a note of these support URLs. I'll give you all the support URLs so you can also use them. The CS, the SSR, SSL certificate provides you increased amount of security or protection for your website and with that it also adds on the benefit for search engine optimization as because of SSL you comes in the groups a select group of websites of the world not more not most of the website have SSL in their website or neither they prefer to have SSL in their website due to multiple reasons but if you install an SSL it might cost you a little bit of money will definitely give you a, an edge over your competitor who is not having an SSL. But remember, SSL is a technical bit of improvisation which you can apply, but it, it is not the final line of improvisation that will help you in uh, solving your search optimization factors. There are uh, 200 factors, nearly 200 factors. We are discussing on that in other articles and other lessons you can uh, follow those lessons where you can see how you can use all those factors and optimize the website now let's come to the first url where can i find instruction on how to generate a csr now the csr code is available for different type of hosting platform we are using here the cpanel as i already told you this is a cpanel website cpanel based website so this cpanel based CSR code would be available inside this login panel and the instruction, instruction to install the CSR code based SSL is given over here in this URL. Now in this URL, see they have given a detailed image based instruction and that is also of the old design of the cPanel. Some new cPanels have new designs like this one starting of the while installing of the SSL 
what are the steps we need to do first log into the cpanel i've logged into the cpanel then in the security section click ssl or tls manager now let's go to the this is the ssl and tls manager open it in the window now it's open these are the steps now you have to follow after that before that as it's already a purchased certificate what now we will uh, renew the certificate we purchased a new certificate as you can see we will activate it and delete the older one now what are the factors you need to include in the csr so your certificate can get activated they are common name city state country organization and division let's put them all Uh, we will move on towards the installation process one after one click click on onwards and to confirm that I own the domain I uh, will need to upload a file so let's download it now this avoid the bomber request I am already telling you now save the activation file upload it to the server Save it in a separate folder so you don't mix it with others. File is ready. We can move ahead with the load of the same. Here we come to the public underscore HTML folder. We will upload it here. This is done. Go to the acquisition panel. Log into your panel. It's already logged in. Go to the SSL and TLS manager, right? And here, SSL and TLS manager already showed you how to go there. Now, click on manage SSL sites under install and manage SSL for your site HTTPs. Now, click on that. Let's go back once. Here we get the manage SSL sites. Click on that. Now open the certificate with the begin certificate and end certificate command over there. Now just under the browse certificate, there you will get the domain section click on the autofill by domain see domain has filled up some details the details that are filled up over here they can uh, easily be checked in this website I'll put down the URL in the video so you can check that whether it is working or not now here some address details need to be put down for the SSL to work
these address details actually verify the ownership of the SSL so if any crime or anything happens the address can be used to track the person now once the address details are done away with you can check we are actually configuring the dot ht access file of the server dot ht access file actually gives you uh, direct https redirection we would require a https redirection so site always opens with https you can force it or either you can keep the option open to open the site without or with https both you can do the forcing option if you does the uh, forced https opening option then site might open sometime a little bit slow due to the https configuration now here we are pasting the data in a dot stxs file inside the cpanel and we will change the demo node domain name that is given in this uh, uh, script As we move ahead with the changing of the domain name, it will resolve automatically on the given domain name. HTTPS actually brings a little bit more reliability for your website. It helps you build a little bit more trust from your user trust from the Google it's a trust building operation not only the security of the site user trust is also an important function when somebody visits your website they do look for the HTTPS and if you have that you are always gifted with more number of visitors now we are logging to the website this website is in WordPress so we would we can use actually uh, HTTPS redirection plugin that helps you remove the content not verified problem of the browser and easily redirect the entire site to open from the HTTPS. Thank you very much. If you like our video, our tutorials, do get back to us at our phone number given in the video or you can always reach us at our website. Thank you.